I'd like to um, introduce um, Director of Athletics, Associate Director, Associate Vice President, Director of Athletics, uh, Sean T. Frazier, um, to introduce our new uh, head men's basketball coach. Great. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you for joining us. Uh, big day. Uh, it's a great day to be a Husky uh, on a lot of different levels. Uh, coach Berno, his family, uh, the folks that have been in his life, uh, supporter, supporter of Husky Nation. Uh, this was a, a, a big time hire for us. And uh, we knew that. Um, started back in January uh, when we decided to go in a different direction with our, our, our head men's uh, basketball program. We went through a very comprehensive search process, was aided by uh, Parker and Associates uh, and Daniel Parker as the lead. I uh, want to say thank you very much for their assistance. Uh, they brought a lot to the table. Um, our search uh, committee comprised of our faculty athletic rep, uh, uh, Dr. Mark Rosa, our, our senior uh, women's administrator, chief of staff, Deborah Bouton, um, our uh, uh, sport administrator over basketball, uh, Courtney Vincent, uh, uh, as well as yours truly were involved with the, the search process, the search committee. Then there was a various number of other individuals involved. But at the end of the day, the cream really rose to the top. It was clear based on the passion um, the determination, the grit, all the things, quite frankly, we were looking for. Uh, a big piece of, of that was the familiarity with the uh, great state of Illinois, uh, NIU, Chicagoland, and quite frankly, understanding our core values here at NIU. So I'm going to hold it there uh, and say that uh, we've got our guy. We're really excited about that. It's a great day. And uh, I want to introduce uh, our next head men's basketball coach, Coach Rashawn. Bruno, congratulations. Coach, go ahead. Well, thank you guys for uh, joining the, uh, the press conference. Um, I'm extremely honored uh, for the opportunity. Um, throughout this process, I wanted to make sure that I really got a chance to see what they wanted to do outside of basketball. Um, that's important to me. Um, that's something that I, I take serious. And talking to Sean and, and talking to the People part, that was a part of the search. It was it was clear to me that we were aligned in, in regards to our vision to try to really help student athletes reach their full potential. And so when you know, obviously I got the call, I was extremely excited um, because this is somewhere I wanted to be, and I wanted to be a part of the family. And 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 I'm I'm very very fortunate. So I wanted to first off uh, make that statement, but also thank you guys for being a part of this process. All right, with that, um, we'd like to uh, open up the, the uh, press conference for questions here um, for Coach. Um, as we said, either um, indicate in the, in the chat with a hand raise or um, just type it in the chat with a raised hand. And the first question comes from um, Eddie Carifio from the Daily Chronicle. Go ahead, Eddie. Can you tell us who you'd like to, the question is directed to also, please. Uh, hold on, you're still muted, Eddie. There you go. You should be open, Eddie. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, this one's for uh, for Coach. Just just what is it you see about this program that you think uh, needs to get it uh, going back in the right direction? Well, I think it starts. I think it starts with the student athletes. You know, I had an opportunity to uh, speak with them uh, this morning, uh, explain what the uh, new guidelines are in order to continue. To, to, to be a part of the program, uh, what it's gonna take to turn this thing around. Um, the, the potential is there. Uh, walking around the community uh, over the last 24 hours, uh, seeing the facilities, uh, so much room to grow. Um, and, you know, I came here and all that stuff is great, right? The facilities and all that stuff is excellent, but I came here for the people. And I truly believe if you've got good people around you uh, who are all pushing in the same direction, you can turn anything around. And so that, that was primarily the sole reason of me choosing uh, to accept the offer, because I, I truly believe in the vision of the athletic department, but also the overall school. You mentioned um, new guidelines, just just in, in what it's going to take to be successful. What are that you talked about with the players? Just what are those things that you think, you know, that, that you talked about them were we talked about with them were? Well, just being accountable, <laughs> just understand 
one thing you have to be in life is accountable for your actions. Um, we talked about being commitment, committed to each other um, because that, that, that matters. Um, the great teams I've been a part of as, as a player and as a coach, those guys were committed to each other. And then the last thing we touched on is being vulnerable, right? In order to, to be vulnerable, you've got to trust the people in, in your locker room or in your lives. And so we really try to focus on that. Um, you know, obviously trust in, 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 this, in this community is, is big. Um, you know, I understand that it's going to take some time. It's going to take some, some effort. It's going to take some good days, bad days. But ultimately, we're going to try to fall and foster an environment where we can trust each other and we got to be vulnerable with each other in order to turn this thing around. And, and I think that translates on the basketball court because basketball is the ultimate trust sport. Uh, some other sports is individualized. Basketball, you need five guys working in the same direction. And you can't do that. You can't win at the level we want to win if we don't trust each other. So those are the things that we're going to, we're going to, we're going to obviously uh, make sure that we, we do a really good job of, uh, of, of, of making sure that these guys see that every day and working towards trusting each other. Okay, thanks, Coach. And our next, thanks, Eddie. Our next question is from uh, Brandon Suarez from um, Top Shelf Sports. Uh, Brandon, I'm trying to ask you to unmute. So when you are, should be good to go now. Oh, yeah, you're good. It's on tap sports night, by the way, but congratulations. It's all good. Congratulations on the job, coach. You've been praised for your work in recruiting athletes and helping build quality rosters over the years. What kind of players can Husky Nation expect to be coming onto campus here in the future? Well, um, I think the, the key thing is the talent level. Um, I, I think evaluating talent is, 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 a, is a, a big part of my job, but you're going to see guys that's going to be hungry to play who going to play with some passion, uh, play with some fight, play with some grit, you know, in sports and in, in life, adversity hits, right? And our guys are going to be able to, to, to sustain uh, adversity and then also push through. So the talent level, obviously, we're going to go out and try to get the best student athletes we can get. But the intangibles are, you know, our team will play extremely hard. Our teams are going to compete for 40 minutes uh, and we're going to be mentally tough. And so that, that's something that I can guarantee you in regards to the student athletes that's going to put on that jersey and go out and compete. And then seeing that you're a DePaul grad, you played basketball for DePaul, and you have a little bit of a history with the Chicago land area. Will there be an emphasis on recruiting uh, heavily in Chicago? Absolutely. Um, I think if you look at some of the great programs that exist today, um, you have to protect home. You have to protect home. That's going to be priority number one, two, and three. Um, and then we'll branch out when we see fit. But at the end of the day, we got we to gotta get the very, very best on campus and we got to keep them here. Um, the Chicago land is, you know, is, is rich with talent. Um, I was fortunate to play with a couple guys from local, you know, Simeon and, and Whitney Young High School were phenomenal basketball players. And I'm where I am because those guys took an opportunity to stay home. And I was a guy that was from outside the city. I was from New Jersey and I saw those guys and I wanted to be a part of that. And you have to take care of home. And that's going to be a strong emphasis we're going to work our tail off. My staff will understand that that is priority number one. And I think you can take care of home. We can get the, the locals to stay home. You can win the game. And now we can expand and we can expand our brand and make it a national brand. But right now, my sole focus is, is to protect home. And then last one here, Coach. What are you looking forward to most about getting started as head coach here at NIU? Just getting out to, in the community, um, working, with, working with all uh, people involved in, in our program. Um, and then mainly getting with my guys. Um, I told these guys, I didn't recruit you here, but you're my guys. The moment I told the administration I'm taking a job, you're my guys. So I cannot wait to get with them uh, to learn who they are and what they're about and, and get to work. Um, but it's an exciting time for our program. Um, I understand I, I'm not the savior. I can't do this by myself. And I'm, I'm looking forward to everybody being engaged and bought in to get this thing to the next level. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, Brandon. We have um, uh, a question from, forgive me, I don't know your first name, uh, S. Newhouse. I'm asking to lower you if you want to, you should be a, of an open mic right now. Okay, it's Steve Newhouse. Hey, Rashawn, welcome to you. Um, you just talked about, you know, recruiting and close to home, but you're a guy who's got a lot of East Coast connections as well. Do you have any plans for recruiting the East Coast? Absolutely. Um, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to protect home, but you're only good as your relationships in this business, right? And I've been fortunate to be in a couple of different places to whereas I've 
garnered some really good uh, relationships that I will lean on, um, and that helps. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tap into a dip, couple different sources where talent is is, is rich. Um, but we're gonna focus in at home first, and then we'll fill it. We'll fill in some gaps where we need it. Um, and that's the beauty of my resume. Um, I built it strategically to whereas I'm not in a box. I'm not just a Midwest guy. I'm a national recruiter. But I understand that Chicago will be our home base, and we and, and I keep emphasizing we're gonna put that work in to make sure that the Chicago land area know that we're the place to, to send their student athletes because they're gonna get a fine education and they're gonna compete for championships. Okay, do we have any um, additional uh, questions for either coach or Sean? Again, you can put in the chat, uh, either raise your hand or find the hand raise uh, feature on the Brandon, let me get to you really quick here and ask you to be unmuted. Um, should be should be open, Brandon. Go ahead. Uh, this one's for for uh, Sean Frazier. Sean, what would you say separated Coach Bruno from the other candidates in this search to become the uh, program's 29th head men's basketball coach? Yeah, Coach uh, uh, Bruno is has really put himself on the next <laughs> level for me and for the committee because his ability to articulate. Uh, the plan. You know, we know this is not going to be turned overnight. He's been very honest and upfront about the work ethic. And I think the way he articulated uh, that plan of action hit home in a lot of different areas, not just with myself, but also with members of the search committee, as well as the members of, uh, 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 of the individuals that he met with kind of going through our hot wash on the finalist pool. I think that what, what struck with me is his passion uh, and uh, obviously the, the, the coaching pedigree, but the passion to want to be at NIU, uh, to having the fit familiarity with obviously the state of Illinois, uh, Chicago land, uh, and then his national contacts. Uh, you know, so, you know, looking at our institution and what we represent, our core values and all the things that quite frankly, uh, that we've had success in, it's having that, that uh, diversity of experiences uh, at our disposal. Uh, we need everything we can get to compete at the national level. And we've seen that in a number of our other programs. So he separated himself from the process. Uh, and that's why uh, he's our head coach. And then I have one final question. I may have missed it in the last few weeks, but is there a status on uh, Coach Chapman being retained with the program? Uh, at this point in time, uh, Coach Chapman and uh, Coach Berno are going to have conversations, and um, he's in an interim status through uh, June 30th. Uh, that's his, uh, his, his uh, relationship with us at this point, and I think going further, it will be uh, up to Coach Berno and staff uh, to, to, to talk through those, 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 those particular relationship issues, yes. Thank you, Sean. No problem. Thanks, Brandon. Eddie, I'm about ready to unmute you here. Um, we're going back to Eddie Carifio of the Daily Chronicle. Uh, you should be open, Eddie. Hey, thanks. Uh, Coach, this one's uh, for you again. I'm just curious of uh, what your assessment of this team is, uh, where it stands right now. I mean, how much have you had the, the, the see of it? Are you familiar with the players? And, and just what's your assessment of uh, where this team stands right now? Well, I had an opportunity throughout the process to watch uh, a couple games uh, when, when the time permitted. Um, not preparing my own team. Um, there's talent there. Um, obviously, these guys, you know, these guys had a tough situation uh, in January. Um, like most teams, they're battling, obviously, covert with, with, with the month stop, I think it was actually. So, I mean, there's talent there. And, you know, in talking to them, I, I can tell, you know, uh, when you lose a lot of games, it, it does something to your confidence. Um, and so my, my job, um, in regards to evaluating them is, is, is started today. Um, I'm confident in, in what I bring to the table and the staff I'm gonna bring uh, to NIU and how they can impact and invoke change in the young men that we, that we have in the program. So my job right now is just evaluate them today and then moving forward. Um, but obviously they're talented enough to, and, and they're good enough to be here. Um, obviously they, they're here. So my job is to try to, to bring them the most out of them and, and and give them some things different that may add value to them on and off the court. Uh, but they, they seem like they're a bunch of good kids who are yearning uh, for some leadership, some guidance. 
uh, and they're willing to, to, to be committed to, to what we're going to uh, implement uh, from day one. So I'm super excited to get to work with these young men. Okay, thanks, Coach. All right, um, just want to put it out there again as one last uh, call here to see if anyone else had any um, other questions for Coach or Sean. Um, please, again, feel free to go ahead and put a hand raise up or uh, type it in the chat. Um, give it a few more minutes, seconds here, and um, see if anyone else is good to go. Okay, then. Um, I don't see anybody um, looking to ask any more questions. So I um, want to thank Coach uh, for all your time. want to thank uh, – oh, oh, sorry, Sean, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I think, uh, I think somebody does have a hand up in the chat. Uh, oh, Brandon, do you uh, – hold on. Let me uh, <laughs> unmute you, Brandon, really quick here. Hold on. Make sure we take okay. care of him. Yep, go ahead. Yep, nope, just saw that. I'll keep, I'll keep the conversation going. So, Coach, um, you said you had the opportunity to take a look at some of the games from this last season and the players. Who are some of the players that you're most excited to work with in this upcoming season? All of them. <laughs> I love that answer. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> you welcome.